Thank you so much. Mr. Prime Minister, Madam Prime Minister, Sarah Netanyahu, Commanding Officer, David Coles, Vice Admiral Sharvit, Brigadier General Corey Martin, I'm sure you're here somewhere, um, Member of Knesset, Minister Yisrael Katz, uh, Mayor of Ashdod, Yechiel Lazari, distinguished guests, and to all the officers and sailors serving aboard the USS Ross, it is my honor to welcome all of you to Israel, and in particular, to welcome you to the port of Ashdod, where for the first time in 19 years, an American warship has come to visit. I'm certain that the crew has enjoyed the warm hospitality of the city of Ashdod, as well as the beauty and the history of the various sites around Israel, as Commander Coles so beautifully and movingly described. And I'm so grateful to Commander Coles and his crew, who worked so hard to get the ship ready for this fantastic reception. Thank you so much for your hospitality. It's greatly appreciated. We gather here tonight on this beautiful ship, on this beautiful night, to celebrate the 243rd birthday of the United States Navy. From a modest beginning of just two gunboats in 1775, today the Navy has some 286 sophisticated ships, more than 3,700 aircraft, and more than 600,000 active duty, reserve, and civilian personnel. But even more impressive than its awesome size and power, the Navy operates every day throughout the world in calm seas and in rough waters, protecting American citizens, American allies, and American values. We are all eternally grateful for your service, as well as the service of your families who wait for your safe return. And we pray that God will grant all of you a safe return. We pray for all of you every day. I hope the symbolism of this moment is not lost upon anyone. Israel and the United States have enjoyed a close and mutually beneficial relationship for decades. The presence of the USS Ross in Ashdod and her patrols throughout the Mediterranean Sea represent the commitment of the United States to provide credible defensive assistance to Israel against all external threats. This vessel is a testament to American resolve to confront and defeat violent extremist organizations and nations wherever they operate. There is no more fitting place for the USS Ross to seek safe harbor than the State of Israel, which stands on the front lines of this effort as a critical partner with the United States. I am humbled to address you this evening, and again, I want to thank all of you for being here to celebrate and to honor our United States Navy. May God bless all of those who serve on this ship. May God protect all of those who serve on this ship. May God bless the United States Navy. May God bless the State of Israel. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much.